drilling the drain holes here is going to be a, an item of substantial patience required and uh, a lot of care. Both sides are right next to the refrigerant lines. I want a hole down in here so that the rainwater and stuff can get out. And then uh, we'll do another hole on the other side. I want to make sure you get as much water out of the machine as possible. Do not want water standing in the unit. I think the best thing to do is to go up from below because you can't quite see on top. You can't get a good angle. I could go like this, but that is way... I think that's way too risky. Unless I put a piece of wood there. You can do this. Um... Yeah, I'm comfortable with that. It's not even going down at all. The step is smaller. The drill was also on number one, it should have been on number two. Have the right tool and use the tool correctly. I know you're not getting the best angle, but I need the best angle right now. can't get a good angle. I'm going to have to do it from below. Keep this here to protect the line in case I go through. I don't expect to, but I've got to be careful. Perfect. No damage. Just a nice clean hole. We gotta enlarge that uh, that I'll clog it real quick. I'm gonna enlarge it progressively just because of how close we are to the refrigerant lines. I'm gonna drill with caution here. damage to the lines and look at that the wood saved it so always be careful when you're working with something that you can't make a mistake on all right let's turn this around to the other side
Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good at all. I don't have much access to this side. Hmm. I wish I could tell where the water comes through. I have a feeling it comes through right in the middle there. See that, that canal in the center? I bet that's where it goes through. So... I think that's going to be the ideal place for the hole. Now of course this is... It's going to cause other issues because now the water is going to drip all over the house. It's going to be too close to the house and get all over the windowsill and everything. But I'd rather conquer that than uh, lose the unit. So I'm going for it. I'm going to drill a hole right in that canal. I'll go as far out onto the edge as I can. You know, as, as far over to the left as I can, and uh, let's get a hole in there. Because that that'll be our best bet. And then when it rains, you know, I'll just throw a piece of wood over the top to keep the water out. And uh, actually, you won't even need to because it's under the, under the overhang, so it won't get rain water in there, regardless. Oh yeah, this is definitely the, the, the canal right here. And see it from down below. So the condensation is definitely going to come through here and then fill up this pan. So we're going to drill another hole over here. Coils are here. We'll go here and I'll put a hole in right here so we can catch all the rainwater before it comes out. And I'm not putting the camera down there because it'll get metal shavings in the camera. And that's just not something that we need right now. metal shavings fly all over your arm. I should grab all the water uh, right before it comes out into the uh, condenser area. drain hole. There should be a 100% solution 
to the uh, condensation based rust. All right, I want to put one more hole over here, just inside of here, in case water pools up somehow, anyways. good. We have full success of the drain hole installation. Alright, now uh, let's take this thing outside and see what we can do with the coil cleaner. <laughs> 